Care transitions is an important topic in healthcare today. What it means is when patients go from one setting of care to another. So let's say a patient is being discharged from the hospital and going into perhaps a nursing home or going for home health care in their own home or going to see the physician in their office. Transitions of care is really managing patients as they move from one part of the healthcare system to another. That one part may be physical locations, it may be handoffs within the same setting, such as within the hospital, going from the emergency room to the inpatient bed. But essentially, care transitions is managing patients as they move from one part of the healthcare system to another part of the healthcare system. And we know how essential it is to manage that process well. Patients spend time in all parts of the healthcare spectrum, not just in one place. And so as you move from one part to another, there's always vulnerabilities for patient safety issues or quality of care issues. Hospitals have such a critical and important role in managing transitions in care. Hospitals are often a locus of where care may start or end, but as we all know, it's not just what happens in the hospital, it's what happens outside the hospital, whether it's in your home, whether it's in a nursing home, or in the physician's office, or many other places. So hospitals play a critical role, often because it is the place that patients go to, whether it's for a procedure or an other inpatient condition, but hospitals are there for that. Then when they leave, it's critical for hospitals to ensure that information goes from there to where the patient is next, or the consumer is next. That's a critical piece. Again, hospitals play such a major role because they have often information, they've often diagnosed and taken care of the patients, and that will transfer and follow them through the rest of their treatment plan. Readmissions is kind of the gateway towards care transitions or care coordination. So readmissions is not just because of a failure or a deficiency a deficiency in what happened in the hospital, but it's also what happened during the transitions in care. Did the patient go see the physician or the provider after they were discharged for follow-up care? Was the patient able to continue all their treatment, their medications and others, after they were discharged from the hospital? Did the next provider know what was absolutely necessary and important to that patient and their clinical care after the hospital? So hospitals play such a critical role, and that gets into partnerships. Partnerships at the community level are essential to care transitions. Hospitals working with other clinical providers, hospitals working with social service agencies, hospitals working with everybody in the community that have a stake in the health and health care of their community. So hospitals play a great role in convening, in partnering, in providing that locus of information back and forth about the patient, and really in being part of the health care system. There's not been a more exciting time than today for the healthcare quality professionals. We know that quality of care is job one, and we know that it's an essential element of all the redesign that's happening in healthcare, both clinically and from the financial side. And care transitions is a great element or ingredient of all those changes that are happening in healthcare. So the quality management professional is involved in how do you measure quality as it comes to care transitions, number one. Number two, they get involved in improvement efforts around care transitions. The quality professional is often the quarterback, the facilitator in working not just within the hospital or the nursing home, but across organizations. So the quality professional is critical to that.